Hey guys, welcome back to Pops and Props. Today I'm going to be customizing and weathering this Casey Jones replica mask. So let's get right into it. So before we get into the actual customization of this mask, I'm going to be wearing the only kind of stuff that I have for this cosplay so far. So the only two things, which is very obvious, is the mask and the jacket. Now I do have a shirt, it's called a Henley long sleeve shirt. I have that on the way and I also have some of those um, boxing hand wraps. So I've got those on the way. I still got to figure out something to do for the legs. But let's put on this mask and let's show you guys what it looks like. So what I am going to do is I'm actually going to grow my hair because I really like how it looks draped over the mask which is also very tricky to get it kind of draping onto the mask because my hair is at an awkward stage but that is what it looks like so far guys i'm pretty happy with it so far but i can't wait until the finished product so basically what i'm going to be doing in today's video is i'm going to roughen up this whole mask so i'm going to be creating some scratches and some scrapes all over the mask i'm going to be weathering it with some black acrylic paint so I will be making a kind of like a paint wash to brush over the mask and then wipe off most of it and let it soak into those scratches so it really looks beat up and weathered. And another thing I will be doing is I'm going to be trimming these straps as you guys can see here. They are a little bit too long. So I'm going to take them back maybe like this much, cut them right about here. And then I am going to go in with some of my dirt. I'm just going to grab dirt from the garden and I'm gonna rub it in here and make it look all weathered and make it look like it's been worn for a really long time. And last but not least, I probably might put a little bit of blood splatter either around the mouth or around one of the eyes just to create the look like he's been fighting with someone, he's gotten hit a bunch of times or he's been thrown on the ground. So first up, I decide to go in and remove the straps and trim them. Here I am taking my X-Acto knife and I'm going in and I am creating some deep scratches in the mask. I want this mask to look really rough. So what I did in that last clip was create all these deep scratches in the mask. I used my X-Acto knife for that, but now I want to create a bunch of little scratches along the mask like he's been thrown onto the pavement and has been roughed around a little bit. So I'm just gonna go like this on the pavement for a little bit. As you guys can see here, I don't know if the camera angle's great, but I'm just gonna go like this. Yeah, that looks good. But that's what I'm gonna do right now and then just get a lot of scraps and scratches and make it look dirty as heck. So here is the mask so far. I really like how natural these scrapes and scratches look. So I think it's time to go in and do some weathering. So I grabbed some dirt from my dad's garden and I'm using this to weather the straps of the mask. What I am doing here is I'm using this dirt and I'm just rubbing it into the straps and this creates a nice aged look. I think it looks really, really great. One thing I didn't really notice is I accidentally used too much dirt the first time I had to go at it and I overdid it just a little bit. So with time, I figured out that a little goes a far way. So I did a little bit of experimenting and I decided to go in with some sandpaper to wipe away some of that dirt from the mask. And I'm actually really happy with how this effect turned out. I go in with an acrylic wash that I quickly whipped up, black paint and water, and I wipe it all over the mask. And then I decide to either dab it off or wipe it off. Both of these created a nice texture. Next, I whip up some fake blood. This is just a little bit of red acrylic paint and a touch of black paint, not too much because it will turn it into a weird color. I decide to dab it around the area of the mouth, not too overboard, but just a little bit for that extra touch. Now let's take a look at the finished product. Well guys, this is how the mask turned out. I'm really happy with how it looks. I'm gonna take this off. I did a few things that I didn't record, um, which was add the little cross of duct tape. 
seems like something Casey Jones would really do to kind of repair his mask. I did the same on the straps. I added a little bit right there and a little bit right there. And then as you can see, I added a little bit of fake blood right there. But overall, I'm really happy with how this looks. Sorry guys, I had to move locations because my dad decided to come outside. But that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly had a lot of fun weathering and distressing this mask. And as always guys, if you want to see more tutorials like this or guides, just let me know down in the comments. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to do those three things. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.